Suddenly Jibreel alayhi salam came to me and he said to me, Ya Rasulullah, Allah has heard what they said to you and did to you. And with me is the angel of the mountains. He seeks permission to speak to you. He says, let him speak. The angel of the mountain says, Ya Rasulullah, Allah heard what had happened to you. Command me whatever you want me to do to them. If you want, I can grab those mountains behind you and crush them. I can destroy them all and annihilate them. Just order me. And the Prophet Sallallahu replied, بَلْ أَرْجُوا أَنْ يُخْرِجَ اللَّهُ مِنْ أَصْلَابِهِمْ مَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَحْدَهُ لَا يُشْرِكُ بِهِ شَيْئًا He says, oh no, don't do that. For I hope that if not them, but the next generation out of their loins and lineage in the future will come out who will worship Allah alone and not make any partners to him whatsoever. Our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not thinking about himself. And even if this generation doesn't want to accept, he is feeling mercy and compassion for the future generation that is not even born yet. Why not feel for the generations that are to come who also may have a chance of entering paradise and believing in Allah? After his death, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And such is the reason why Allah called him, you are a mercy sent to the world.